Hi there! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are delving in the world of trailing plants. Following the great feedback from my last video showcasing 10 beginner-friendly large house plants, I thought I would put a similar list focusing on hanging trailing plants. Dealing with big plants means wrestling with space issues, while hanging plants bring on the classic drill or no drill ceiling conundrum. It's a real-life game of home decor Tetris. Get ready to write down your favorites and let's dive into the top 10 trailing house plants and uncover their secrets. First up on my list is Ribsalis, known for its delicate, cascading stems and easy care nature. This epiphytic cactus thrives in bright, indirect light and prefers well-draining soil. Keep it slightly moist and watch it flourish. These plants are worth buying as mature specimens, since growing a lush cascade from a single cutting can take years. Were you aware that Ripsilis is ideally suited for life on trees? Thriving as an epiphyte in its native environment, it secures its roots onto tree trunks. When preparing the soil mix for Ripsilis, remember to incorporate a generous amount of pine tree bark and coconut core chips. Ripsalis flocosa. These epiphytic grows on other plants. Jungle cacti are native to Central America and can tolerate more moisture than their desert counterparts. This variety has long spaghetti-like stems and rather small greenish-white flowers to 12 mm across and white fruits. Stunning. Next, we have Hoya linearis, prized for its slender, rope-like foliage and charming blooms. This plant enjoys bright, indirect light and occasional watering. When it comes to growth rate, maximum length, and flowers of Hoya linearis, they tend to grow moderately fast and can reach lengths of over a meter during the summer season. One of the key secrets to success with Hoya linearis is keeping your Hoya linearis happy is mastering the art of watering. Like many succulent plants, Hoya linearis prefers to dry out between waterings to prevent root rot. Allow the soil to dry almost completely before watering thoroughly, and always use a well-draining potting mix to ensure proper drainage. During the winter months, reduce watering frequency to mimic its natural dormancy period. Hoya retusa is another stunning trailing plant, featuring long, slender leaves and unique star-shaped flowers. It thrives in bright, indirect light and appreciates well-draining soil. Keep it slightly moist, but avoid overwatering. All of my Hoyas are grown from two leaf cuttings. I bought this Hoya with several cuttings rooted in one pot three years ago. One of the most remarkable secrets of Hoya retusa is its ability to bloom almost continuously throughout the year. Its delicate flowers exude tiny droplets of sticky nectar, filling the room with a delightful fragrance that's sure to enchant anyone who enters. Speaking of fragrance, the scent emitted by Hoya Retusa's flowers is truly heavenly. Imagine a room filled with the sweet aroma. Moving on to Sedum Morganicum, also known as Burrow's Tail. This succulent is characterized by its trailing stems adorned with plump blue-green leaves. Provide it with bright light and infrequent watering, allowing the soil to dry out between waterings. This plant is very fragile. Its leaves fall off with the slightest touch. Avoid ordering it online with delivery, otherwise you'll receive a box of fallen leaves. Sinecchio banana string adds a playful touch to any space with its cascading, banana-shaped leaves. This plant thrives in bright, direct light and prefers well-draining soil. Water sparingly and allow the soil to dry out between waterings. Sinecchio doesn't tolerate short winter days well. It stretches a lot and needs rejuvenation in spring. If you're not afraid of annual rerooting of its cuttings, then this plant is for you. It grows very fast and can reach a meter or longer during the summer season. Lapismium bolivianum, 
also known as Christmas cactus vine, boasts long trailing stems adorned with charming pinkish red flowers. Provide it with bright, indirect light and allow the soil to dry out slightly between waterings for best results. You can buy this plant as cuttings. It grows quickly, branches out on its own, and winters well indoors without additional lighting. Philodendron micans is a gorgeous trailing plant with velvety, heart-shaped leaves that shimmer in the sunlight. This plant thrives in medium to bright, indirect light and enjoys slightly moist soil. Keep it away from drafts for optimal growth. My plant grew from such small cuttings to a meter in length. I plan to trim its long stems and repot them into a pot with the mother plant for more lushness. Epiphyllum angeliger, also known as fishbone cactus, features unique, zigzag-shaped stems and stunning nocturnal blooms. Provide it with bright, indirect light and well-draining soil. Water sparingly and avoid overwatering to prevent root rot. Its flowers open in the evening for just two nights, filling the room with an unforgettable aroma. Seropegia woody, or string of hearts, is a charming trailing plant with heart-shaped leaves that cascade gracefully. It thrives in bright, indirect light and prefers well-draining soil. Water moderately and allow the soil to dry out between waterings. Cuttings of this plant root easily in water, but after planting in soil, 30-60% of them dry out. I don't know why this happens and don't recommend buying just one cutting. One of the most enchanting secrets of Carapegia, woody lies in its charming heart-shaped leaves. As it grows, the slender stems extend gracefully, creating an elegant cascade of foliage that enhances its visual appeal. Amidst the lush foliage of Serapegia, woody hides a secret spectacle, its exquisite flowers. While often overshadowed by its captivating foliage, this plant produces small, tubular blooms that are a sight to behold. Delicate and intricate, these flowers emerge sporadically throughout the year, adding a touch of floral elegance to the trailing vines. Last but not least, we have Anthurium viterifolium, prized for its striking belt-shaped leaves and tiny flowers. This plant thrives in bright, indirect light and appreciates high humidity. Keep the soil evenly moist and provide it with a warm, humid environment. I must confess, this anthurium winters poorly for me, even with additional lighting. It dries out new foliage before it has a chance to fully unfurl. I hope it will become unrecognizable by the end of the summer season. Anthurium viterifolium, unique characteristic lies in its alternating growth pattern of leaves and flowers, even during the winter months. While the flowers may lack fragrance, they boast longevity, retaining their vibrancy for extended periods without wilting. The distinctive feature of Anthurium wendlingeri is its belt-shaped long foliage, complemented by spiral-shaped flowers. This characteristic makes it a more intriguing addition to collections, but also adds to its expense. I suppose many experienced Anthurium growers would object to including both Anthurium in the top list for beginners. Therefore, I suggest considering this plant in its place, one with equally long leaves that's much easier to care for, the Epiphyllum red tip, Unfortunately, after winter, it lost its reddish hue and hasn't bloomed for me yet, as it's still young. But this summer, I'm looking forward to its large red flowers. To achieve this, I'll be taking it outside to bask in the morning sun in June. And that wraps up my list, the top 10 trailing houseplants and their secrets. How many of these do you already have, or which one are you planning to add to your indoor oasis? Drop a comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up 
share it with your fellow plant enthusiasts, and hit the subscribe button for more plant-filled content. Your support and kind words mean the world to me. Until next time, happy trailing!